Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, this is part one of a series I am calling Auto Content. It's basically just a running log of me building out a tool that's going to help me just pump out video content on YouTube. And so I figured I'd start by, you know, just uploading the very first part of it. So starting with transcript generation and then continuing on adding on to it in the next video and the next and the next and so on until we have a fully functional app that can help us create videos just by you typing in a sentence and it will take care of all of the rest. The transcript, the video creation, the, the audio, all of that good stuff we're going to have done just by you typing in what you want the video to be about and it will spit out a video. But for now, it's just going to be the transcript generation. So I will first just show you a bit of the code so you can see what I'm doing. So it's basically just a very simple Streamlit app with Langchain and I'm using the 11 labs package for <coughs> generating the audio. So we have here, just literally just starts a simple web app and you type in what you want it to be about and then we create video, which leads us to first generate the script. And you can see here, I just have a prompt that says you're an expert content creator, blah, blah, blah. And what I'm doing is I want it to output the transcripts into, or output sentences for each part of the script in, a, in an array format. So then I can take that and pass this to 11 labs and generate uh, segments of the transcript itself, combine them all, and then eventually string them together to be the full transcript for the video. So once this is called, we are returning an array that will be in a string format. So what I'm doing is I'm importing AST literal eval. So this is, this function will essentially just convert whatever the string is to what it would be in a Python type. So assuming that it is output correctly in the right format for a list of strings, it will to return this in an actual array. So once we've done that, we will then pass it to combine sentences into audio file. And now this may not be the final version that I do it in, but uh, as you can see, I'm working on a different version here. Uh, but for this, we are joining each sentence together into one long script. And I am also putting in a little breakpoint here. And the reason I'm doing that is if you go to 11 labs, and we go to the the guides and it talks about prompting and i've also had experience with this personally for other projects i've used 11 labs for and how you can manipulate the audio to actually have a cadence that you want so for me i'm putting in dashes to kind of have a break between each sentences so it kind of flows like somebody that's talking, pause, talking, pause, etc. And this is literally all the code you need uh, from the 11 labs Python package. You generate, then save to an output file. And then we're returning the full script and the audio. So let's give it a try. Uh, let's do history of bodybuilding and submit and now we can just wait here while we wait um yeah i mean if you're watching this drop a comment what you think is good about this so far what you don't like about it what what else would you want to tweak in the actual creation of the video process maybe like the length of the transcript uh you know the tone that you want it in selecting the voice that you want, uploading your own voice, that kind of stuff. So you're not using one of the stock ones that 11 labs provides. Uh, yeah, so this is just kind of me thinking out loud, thinking about different things. Oh, okay. So I'm just printing out each sentence first, just to show you. And then this will be the full transcript here. Welcome to the history of bodybuilding video. Bodybuilding is a sport that has been around for centuries. In ancient Greece, 
athletes would train to improve their physique for sporting events such as the Olympic Games. The concept of bodybuilding as a sport began in the late 19th century with strongmen like Eugen Sando. So you get the picture. So I think further steps, what I'd like to do is A, for the keywords in the actual script, I want to use to actually find images that relate to what the transcript is talking about. And then B, I also think it would be important to have a part of the pipeline where you're actually pulling in real information. So I think you call that, I guess, what would they call it? The ground, grounding of the, the language model. You don't want this to just be hallucinating and giving you a transcript and saying, you know, bodybuilding, uh, you know, started in the year, you know, 900 AD. Maybe it did, honestly. Like, I think people have been lifting or at least, you know, just building muscle. I don't think like in the <laughs> same way that bodybuilding had, but um, basically you just don't want this to lie uh, if, especially if you're making educational content, uh, I, I could see it, you know, maybe being a little bit easier if you're doing, you know, not history of bodybuilding, but a comedy transcript or something like that. Um, but I think that would be the second part that I'd like to add is uh, pulling in actual information from the internet uh, to help the language model synthesize a better transcript with some more added context. Um, so yeah, that's the video for now. If you have any comments, uh, concerns, drop a like. Hey, comments are appreciated and uh, there's no outro, so goodbye.